Hi guys, welcome back to a No Good Hack Joins the Rebellion. This is number 10, and no, I haven't just uploaded the same video twice. We are just going for a second go, the same map, blast again. As I chase this elusive, most kills, without getting to the 100 kill limit, trophy. Start off pretty well here. Try to be a bit more aggressive in this game, just the 18 kills wasn't enough last time. So even if it means dying a bit more, be worth it if we can get that damn trophy. Anyway, this is one of the maps that I'm better at. That clumsy death aside, I can always do pretty well here. I'm terrible at the uh, the June Sea Exchange map. I usually quit when we get to that. That's when I've had enough of blast when we roll around onto that map. It's just so exposed. I like this one. I like the sulfur fields. I like the uh, Imperial hangar. It's really anywhere they're significant indoor, close quarters portion, because that really suits my playstyle. Knew I was outgunned there, so ran away. I feel like that's a really key thing to doing well in Blast, because it's not just about getting kills, it's also about limiting deaths if you, if you want your team to win. So if you can get to 10 kills, that's always my aim for a round. 10 kills and fewer than 10 deaths, then I feel like I've done my part. A good one-on-one -on -one here. But this guy absolutely did me in. This made me look absolutely foolish. I had no idea where he was, he was all over it. Then a second fun one-on-one -on -one encounter. It's almost like I'm looking in a mirror, and for a second I'm not entirely convinced that I'm not. And I could just move on and leave it, but... He was taunting me through that glass. I didn't like that one bit, so I was going to devote all my resources to getting him. Bit of overkill, maybe. Scan pulse. Already knew he was there. And an easy kill. It's under five minutes left and only 34 points each, so it's looking like a good opportunity for that trophy. It's a bit of an underpopulated map, which is what you want when you're trying to get this trophy. So I knew we were in with a shot. I'm still running the homing missile, as you would have been able to tell. I do rely on it for long distance. This is a great map for it. People just hanging out in that bunker there. The fresh got me the double homing missile kill, which I'm sure my opponents were less than thrilled with. Haven't looked at the scoreboard at all in this game. But I know I'm doing okay because I've got quite a few kills and the team's only up to 48. There. And I'm on a bit of a nice kill streak. This is number 9. And I managed to get it to double figures. Number 10. Disappointed not to get the last one. Don't know how all those shots missed. Then my blaster seized up. But we're coming into the final minute and a half. And it's looking like a close game, really. 57 to 55. I'm gonna stay definitely aggressive for this last bit. Don't wanna lose it for the team either by being a bit crazy. Get bailed out there. Seems to be a dead rebel on the ground that I didn't see. Now it's the final minute. So that was one, two kills. So far, three kills. Proxy bomb, that could come in handy if we get a bit of luck, so I put that down. And got a kill with it. Put another proxy bomb down. Covering my back. And got another kill with it. It's up to five kills in the final minute. The Hail Mary lob with the grenade, yet another one, so that's six. And then with the blaster, seven kills in the last minute. Ten seconds left. Just trying to make something happen. Don't know where anyone is. Get shot down. There were seven kills in the final minute. Very good end to the game. And we managed to win. So 72 to 64. Would it be good enough for the trophy? Yes. 30 kills. Easily on top. Seven deaths. So playing a bit more aggressively. A few more deaths, but got a few more kills too. So it was a good performance. And the trophy doesn't pop up in the game recording, but I took a screenshot. So here we have it. Playing the objective. Finally. That's a long time coming. That's definitely a trophy when I started playing this game in November that I never thought I would get. So thanks to a whole lot of people getting the game at Christmas.
made me a bit better compared to everyone else, and also thanks to just playing the hell out of it. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you again next time. Hit subscribe if you want to see more, and drop us a comment with anything you'd like to say.